So I've been playing this legacy challenge that you've maybe seen here on my YouTube channel, and in it, one of my Sims kids just aged up and became a teenager. The issue here is that we don't really have enough space in our house for all of the kids that we have. It's not like our house is tiny, but we do live in a small-ish townhouse. I've currently got three kids, and it's three bedrooms upstairs, so it's not like the biggest deal, but I do have two kids sharing this front bedroom right now, and one of them just aged up, so so I'd like them to maybe have a slightly less childish bedroom, and I've got a lot of money, so we have a little bit of room to work with and maybe try to build something new. The issue is just that it's a townhouse, so we're gonna have to figure out some way to fit this in. Also, I'm gonna have to ask you to just please, please don't worry about this, okay? We had a little bit of an incident the last time I played, and like half my bedroom burnt down. All my decor is gone and turned into little piles of ash. I don't want to deal with this because it stresses me out. In fact, I'm like genuinely kind of sad that all my stuff is gone because I kind of liked this bedroom. But our goal today is not to fix this. The goal instead is to try and find a space that we can fit a bedroom for this teen. And I do have a basement. So I'm kind of wondering if I could maybe change this bathroom into a basement bedroom for the teenager. To me, this almost seems like the kind of thing you would see in a movie where like the teen moves down into the basement because they have some more space and some more privacy down there. So like, yeah, there's no window, but I think that maybe they'd rather have that than have to share with their little sibling. So this is my sim, Belle. Yes, her name is Belle Belle. <laughs> and her traits are Recycle Disciple, Active, Top Notch, infant, high self-esteem, and collector, because she has this cool freelance botanist aspiration. Her only milestones are a bladder failure and a fire, which she has experienced here. She dislikes blues music and knitting, but she does like the colors gray and pink, and also she enjoys arguments. So we're gonna try and build something for her down here. We do have to keep a couple things that we've got going already. For example, this robotic stuff. I have a robot, so I cannot get rid of it. That's sort of Nina's space down there, but I think I might swap out this bathroom for the new bedroom. I previously had laundry down here, but I got so sick and tired of how buggy it was that I had to delete it. I just, I could not deal with it any longer. Normally when I do build videos, I'll do like an entire house. It's kind of, uh-oh. It's kind of rare that I do just one room like this, but it's also kind of fun to dedicate a significant amount of time and effort into a small area like this. I am gonna go all out. This room is gonna be like, like really cluttered probably. I am willing to spend every last dime that we have because my sims are both max level in their career, so we make a lot of money, so I may as well spend a lot of money. And I think I'm gonna try and base the entire space on whatever sort of bed we pick. And I kinda wanna try one that I don't normally use. I'm kinda curious to flip around and maybe find a swatch that I haven't used very often. Both of these I've never used. My favorite swatch on this bed is this floral one, but I use it more often, so I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different, maybe. I do actually quite like this version with the little rainbows on it. High School Years has so many good beds. They just in general, oh, see, that's so nice. That's like cotton candy. <laughs> but just in general, High School Years has so many options. It has such a huge amount of really nice bedroom stuff in this pack between like the beds and the desks and the clutter. This is my other favorite swatch of the High School Years beds, but I probably shouldn't use that either because I'm trying to branch out a little bit. I've never used this this one before. That's like two completely opposite vibes though. <laughs> like those two things could not be further from each other. Let me show you the Sim and Cass real quick. If I show you her outfits, we'll get a better idea of who we're working with. So this is her everyday outfit and she's got these kind of cute pizza earrings that I made her wear for most of her outfits. Generally, she just wears a lot of pink, which we kind of already know. <laughs> a lot of pink and a lot of like food with the strawberries and the cherries. This one has like a cupcake hat. I did forget that she hates knitting, so it's possible that she does not like this hat, but I like the hat, so she has to keep it. I kind of forgot that she had the strawberry earrings, so maybe that strawberry bed is the best option. This one is really cute, so I think I'll use that one. And then I think I might just go through everything that comes in high school years and try and figure out some of the extra stuff that I want to add in. I guess like go through the posters and find some things that match. That one 
kind of matches, but I don't know if I want to use it. I prefer this set of posters because I like how it has kind of like a gallery wall aspect to it. I think these might be kind of nice to add in. And then some things like this, like the little records. There's also little sets of Polaroids that we can try and put on the wall. I think that this chair is so ugly. <laughs> I never, ever, ever use this chair. It's probably like my least used chair in the entire game, but maybe we could try and fit it in somewhere. It just in general, there's a couple really cute chair items that might work for this. Is this one a desk chair or is it like a living chair? Oh, it is a desk chair. Okay, so we can use that as a desk chair then. I love this little shelf set, vintage decorative shelf. Do you think I could give her curtains too, even though she has no window? <laughs> <laughs> what if we put curtains up and then did like a painting of a window or I mean it's my build I can do whatever I want. I could put a window I did this recently in a build that I made that had basements where I put this shuttered window in the basement and my twitch chat Hated it. <laughs> they thought it was so bad. But the thing is I don't mind We don't have really the ability to add in a window well over here because look this room is underneath our next door neighbor's house so I can't really do that. I guess I could potentially swap it around and try to get some sort of window well this way. But even then, I don't really know if I wanna do that. Maybe I do wanna do that. <gasps> Wait, actually, I may have changed my mind about this. I might wanna swap this around a little. When I say window well, what I mean by that is like, is this gonna be glitchy? Ooh, yikes. But a window well is when you have like a hole right here and then we remove the, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I think I have to lower the basement down for this to work and I don't really know if I can do that. This is gonna break the staircase. This is so totally not worth it. Not expanded to ops. What does that mean? I wanna remove the ceiling, but it doesn't work. Okay, well a window well is where like the ceiling would be removed right here and then we'd have access to the basement. I wonder if I can't do it cause it's like not my property cause it's a townhouse. That's a shame. It would have been cool, but <laughs> that's a, a plan for a different day. The build that I'm posting on YouTube next weekend has that. I already built it, so I'll be able to show it to you next week, but just not today. <laughs> today, it's not gonna work out. So we may have to stick to our fake shuttered window. I'm really sorry, I know you might hate it, but I kinda like it, so <laughs> I think I might keep it. I'm back to going through all the stuff from high school years, just so I can kind of get an idea of the sort of clutter I wanna have in here. There are actually a lot of different options. The other thing that I kinda wanted to have in here was like a canopy over the bed. This is like my absolute dream. Okay, this little canopy thing, if we could get that on top of this bed somehow. Oh, look at that. It even comes in some kind of fun swatches. But we can mix and match a lot of different colors with this. Okay, hear me out. Imagine I extend the bed section like this. Can I put the canopy like all the way around that or is that a really bad idea? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is better when it's sideways like this because then it's easier access because you still have to click on the bed to get your sim in there. Okay, so what I'm thinking with this and kind of the reason I'm doing this is I want to have the nightstand next to it in this little nook. Oh, it's too bad she hates knitting because this could be like a really fun crafty room if I use a lot of the nifty knitting stuff. Another time, another time. It cannot be today. She has spoken her mind. She does not like knitting. I will not put her through that. I'm kind of okay with in this space having like maybe a couple sort of weird things going on. All of a sudden this room Room is like really big. <laughs> which maybe isn't a good thing, I don't know. But when I say weird, what I mean by that is like, what if we had a little separate private living room in this little nook? There's some really cute TVs, like the little penguin TV, I could probably use that. It even comes in purple, so I can decorate it like that. I think the penguin TV has very similar vibes to the bed. Maybe I put these posters underneath the bed canopy over here. I wanna do some extra fairy lights, but I wanna be careful to not do too much because we already have all these fairy lights. I really like these star ones because this will match the bed. There's like the little yellow stars on the bed. And then also from the pastel pop kit, just a lot of this stuff is gonna match in general, but there are like little strawberry things. I don't know if this is okay with the bed colors that we have. The purple one is maybe better. Okay, new plan. What if we tried to have like the living room? No, there's no space for them there. I wanna have like two rugs. I think that's part of my issue right now. I would like to have a rug underneath the bed and a rug over here underneath the living room. Anytime I'm doing something like this, there's always a lot of trial and error. <laughs> like trying to lay out a space like this involves a lot of back and forth of what I wanna use. I know we're definitely gonna wanna have a desk area of some sort too, so we have to fit that in somewhere. I'm actually almost feeling like the rugs would be better if they were layered. Let me see what colors this comes in. Cause we do have this cute minty one. Oh, it's lagging so much. <laughs> the lag is because 
because it's it's a residential rental lot, but it's it is a rough one to deal with. Maybe we get this part of the rug furthest over, most out from underneath. Then we do this one kind of like over here. And then is there maybe a pink rug or like a yellow one? This is kind of what I'm wanting, like some sort of layering like this. I wish there was an in-between of these two sizes. The big one's too big and the small one's too small. <laughs> I wish I could have something in the middle. Also, if I put this mess over here, they can still walk on top of that, right? Maybe I could use the mess to layer a little bit where the rug is not, so it still looks like there's stuff going on. I might have to get a sim to come play test this. Oh, should I just press bike here, don't bite. Can you get into the bed? Oh, <laughs> sorry. The, I told you about the fire thing. I tried to warn you. Oh, she cannot get into the bed. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good idea in theory, not so good idea in practice. Maybe an ottoman at the end of the bed would help split this up. Plus we could get some more of the yellow accents this way. Okay, at this current moment in time, I legitimately cannot tell if I like it or not. I really do not know if I think it's good or bad. So I'm kind of struggling a little bit there. I think the TV idea was a good one, but I don't know if it works for this room. I may have to come back to that. I'm just gonna start decorating the nightstand for a bit while we're here, because we have a bunch of cute things I wanna add in. For example, this little lamp. Perfect. This little set of books could maybe be good. Do those even fit together? Oh no. Okay, lamp size down, please. <laughs> that is cutting it very close, but it does technically fit. And then maybe I could get a plant in the corner next to it. Is that even good or not? I can't tell. I think down here is a good place to have some brick accent walls because we could use this fun color on most of it. And then we could do some nice pink in most of the other places. Or we could like really mix and match. We could have like pink and purple and yellow. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea, but sometimes Sometimes it does help me to like map out where I want to put everything. I'm open to using yellow as the main wall color. I was originally picturing pink, but if we did yellow as the main wall color and then we had pink accents pretty much everywhere else, it might be kind of good. I learned recently that these star things do not size up very well. <laughs> the problem is that you can see the shadow from how they were before they were sized up, which is not what I want. <laughs> I would love to have them be bigger, but you just can't really do that in this game. I guess I might put the Polaroid next to the bed right here on the wall because that's super cute. I say we keep the couch but we scratch the TV concept because I just can't figure out where to put it. It's not really working. I've tried a million different layouts and I don't like a single one of them. So we can keep that couch because I like the color so much, but I just don't think that we should try anything with the TV. Unless, wait, 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 wait. I guess you could have the TV off from the bed. I don't know why I didn't really think about that. The TV could go over here. <laughs> I still need a dresser, but we could have the TV on top of the dresser. Oh my goodness. This dresser is absolutely perfect. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. We have to use this one. We have to use this one. I'll just move the door to fit it. I'm not too worried about this basement room because this is like just a skill building room basically. So we can adjust stuff accordingly if we need to. Yeah, I think that this, this thing matches perfectly. This is from the movie Hangout Pack and that totally fits with the vibes of the bed. I'm looking at this item. This is a set of skateboards, but it has like the donuts and the pizza and that's kind of what her outfits look like. So that might be kind of fun to use. I am tempted to have the pink desk and then that weird fuzzy chair. I'll probably use that in a minty color. Might even use the curtains in a minty color too because that looks a little bit better this way. Well, okay, maybe then instead we could have this little shelf over here and instead of that couch, we could put one of those high school years chairs next to it because there is a chair that kind of matches the couch but it's a little bit different. It's kind of like one of those egg chairs and, and it's got a fun swatch with a cute pattern. Plus Plus it has fairy lights. So maybe I should have been trying to use that one all along because that's actually really cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna try and redecorate these shelves to actually fit some of the stuff that I wanted to have. Do you not slot to the bottom? Really? Doesn't that seem weird that it wouldn't slot down here? I guess it's so low, you probably won't be able to tell if it's floating. It is floating. It's floating by a lot, but you can't lower it more because then it's invisible. How does this one look when it floats? That's the same one. How does this one look when it floats? Because mm, I find that so annoying. What? What, what even does slot down there? Does anything slot down there? Not even these? What about the cats and dogs ones? Really? Even this doesn't slot down here? This one actually is kind of clipping a little bit, but I think it's all right if like just a little bit of its legs are hidden. Just don't look at it too closely. <laughs> Normally the, the big cool tip and trick is to use one of these shelves. It just doesn't work when it's so low. Cause what I can do to put things on this shelf to the exact right height is get another shelf there that fits properly, put these things on it and then like 
slot it there and move it off because then I can put anything anywhere. I guess we could have kind of a cute succulent collection, I guess. I kind of like it. Slotting stuff into shelves in this game is so annoying. Okay, I'm trying to scoot these over and get these into a nice place and then I'll go back and delete all of the extra ones that auto placed in various areas. I can make that pink. And I think I like the makeup best on top of this. I do think that maybe this is a little bit high up to be actually useful for makeup storage, but it'll do. It's The Sims. They don't really use these things anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Another idea is to use some of the cute seasons decor. I don't remember what swatches this thing comes in, but if we could find one that kind of works, like those, like those flowers are kind of good, we could try to use this underneath the window just to block it a little bit more. I think those flowers actually match the bed perfectly and then it kind of makes the window make more sense I could maybe even delete it, but I don't know. I, I like the the vibes of there being a thing there still Well, she hates knitting But maybe she's interested in video games and I can give her like a gaming PC or something I'm just trying to find some desk clutter that might work nicely for us I actually really like how those look back there a little plant would be nice too This little cart is always good for putting hobby stuff in but I don't know if I've got enough space for it here I want this on the top shelf. Why do they make it so difficult? All of the slots in this game are so annoying to me. <laughs> See, look, it's trying to slot everywhere I don't want it to. Okay, I should be able to move this now. That's a little bit better. I'll try not to put too much clutter on her desk because sometimes when you put too much, it makes it hard for them to use it. You ever have that problem where you try and have them queue up an interaction on the computer and then it like doesn't work? Oh my god, that's so cute. Well, we have to use that. I forgot about that swatch. <laughs> that's actually really perfect for this. The pink and blue is exactly what I wanted. But anyway, sometimes you try and queue up an interaction to have them like play games or write a book at the desk and then they just don't do it. If you have them sit in the chair first and then click on it, it will work. It's very weird, but that always happens when you put too much debug clutter on a desk. That's kind of the issue. So I try to avoid that at times. I might put some little clothing there. And then the last thing I want is, is the place to watch TV. So I might put that little pastel pop thing back. You know what else is so cute from pastel pop, which would actually fit this style so well? is this. This bookshelf is like a dream come true for this building, but I feel like we don't have enough room for it. Maybe I could even force myself to have room for it. I can make a bump out for it. It's only a basement. We can kind of do whatever we want back here. <laughs> My little TV doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it would have been so cute, but it doesn't fit. Oh, also, I wonder if I could use carpet. The pastel pop kit does have carpet. <laughs> I don't know if I like the carpet necessarily for this, but it is kind of chaotic in a fun way. Let me sit with it for a second, because sometimes it helps me to just look at it for a while and then see if I end up liking it. I've noticed from many, many, many comments <laughs> that people often don't like it when I use carpet, especially like brightly colored carpet, but I think it's kind of fun to use at times. Oh, this thing. Oh, we have to have that. Of course, it doesn't fit anywhere. <laughs> Also, you can't even see, this is the problem. If I put that inside of there, you can't see the flowers on the edges. And I think that is half the fun. Oh no, I might be doing a big switcheroo. What if I put this thing over here? I can keep it sized down so you can still see the flowers on the edges. I'll get rid of the bump out again, because that was a mistake. We can keep the dresser along this wall. This gives me a place to like squeeze in this little set of skateboards a bit better. Maybe I can fit this over here. Oh, this even has flowers too? Oh, I didn't know it had flowers, that's so cute. See, I had it in the corner, so I couldn't tell. I didn't know. I'm going back through the pastel pop kit again, because I'm looking to see if I can find any more useful little decor items. I've really ruined the basement, but that's okay. I like how this thing looks. I will happily fill up every single wall in this entire room. That's actually kind of my goal right now. That fits there? Oh, it is kind of clipping and floating. Okay, I was gonna say, I sized this thing down, so how is stuff slotting to it properly? <laughs> That's really weird. I can still use it. I don't really mind if things float a tiny bit, because you're not gonna look at it that closely. I need to have this little blooming rooms thing, 100%, without a doubt, I need to have that here on this shelf. And then the other main thing is that I kind of want to put a hanging plant in the corner. That helps to fill in this space behind the chair, and it comes in kind of a cute pink color. My main concern right now is mostly just the space above of this and some of the space on this wall. It's looking a little empty to me. I guess just once I've put some more stuff in here, I could maybe even lower these little lights. Maybe put a couple of them above this. Oh, should I use the cork board instead? I do like those skateboard things, but also the cork board might be kind of useful just because you can actually put stuff
stuff on it. Where can I put these? <laughs> Maybe size down on top of this thing on the wall. I'm also kind of wondering about some sort of floor mirror, like a standing mirror in the corner. This one comes in kind of a cute pink. I used to do this all the time where I would put my Sims makeup on the floor, like right in front of the mirror, as if the Sims sat on the floor to get ready in the morning. So that might be kind of a cute touch. And then we could use the other thing that I ended up deleting. Earlier, I was trying to decide between those two pieces for on top of this dresser thing. This one, this like rose with the Polaroid camera. I wasn't sure if I could use that, so I got rid of it, but we could put it back now. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> this room is very busy in like a very chaotic way. I'm gonna quick check if the Sim can actually get everywhere. Oh, also this chair is terrible. I'm gonna make it purple instead. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Does this desk come in purple? Maybe the floor could be purple. There is a light purple floor coloring. That's a totally different vibe. Oh, is that better with this rug like this? Oh, maybe it is better like that. I can't tell. No matter what I do, it's chaotic. <laughs> no matter what, it's really, really busy and kind of scary in here. Okay, like I was saying, I want her to come try and see if she can use these computers. Do you want to play a video game? She can, in fact, play a video game. And luckily that stuff does fade away if you get too close to it so you can see the whole room. So she can use her game games. Do you want to try and go to sleep? She can go to sleep. I sized down this bookshelf. I don't know if it even still works. I don't really care. Oh, it does. Yeah, I don't really care about that part. Then her room's fine. All the necessities are functional. Can you get out? Guys, nobody tell my legacy challenge viewers that I did this but I am gonna, um, I'm gonna give myself a little, a little treat and I'm gonna cheat some of my Sims needs real quick because this way when I play the save again, I won't be in like complete and total chaos, okay? I'm gonna give myself like a tiny, tiny little bit of help, but just try not to remember that when I play the legacy save next, okay? Just pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> I've never cheated in The Sims ever before in my entire life. Okay, well, here's the finished bedroom. I'm actually really happy with this. I really like doing this kind of vibrant, really colorful stuff sometimes because most of my builds don't really ever look like this. A lot of times when I'm building for the gallery, I like try to tone it down a little bit in the bedrooms. I guess an example of toned down would be this room, and this really isn't toned down much at all, but I just don't really always go overboard chaos clutter in the builds that I share on the gallery, but because I'm playing with this sim, I have like a personality to work with. I've got like life plans for her, so it's a bit more fun to decorate for a specific person instead of just like a generic sim that one of you might be playing with. So hopefully you liked this video. I don't do a ton of like specific room builds on YouTube. Usually I do full big giant things. And actually, if you like this house, I did post a video building all four of these townhouses, so I can link that down below for you. And if you're curious about my legacy challenge, I can link the playlist for you as well. We have a lot of fun playing with these Sims and you don't have to watch the whole thing to be like kind of caught up to speed. We're sort of starting a new generation now anyway, because the kids are about to age up. As soon as you have teens, it's kind of like the new era. So <laughs> we're about to start like a brand new section. So now is maybe a good time to start watching if you haven't. But on that note, I am going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I am going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Hopefully you don't hate this room. I realize it's chaotic, but I think it's chaotic in a fun way. Maybe, hopefully.